Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening, the champion, four years younger than the challenger. Everything else is virtually identical. And with the official introductions for our main event, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, Commissioner John Carvelli, Executive Officer Andy Foster, our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Derek Cleary, Marcus Rosales, and Michael Bell. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, John McCarthy. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena at Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding an undefeated professional record. Nine wins, no losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 134 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Broomfield, Colorado, presenting the challenger, Alpha Cat Zingano. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, a judo fighter, holding an undefeated professional record, 10 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Venice, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Rowdy Ronda Rousey! Ladies, we went over about Conde in the back. I want you to fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. If you want to touch the clothes, touch it now. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Good luck. The champion. The challenger. A combined 19 and 0. All right, here we go. You ready? You ready? Get up. Here we go. Me wow, right what? down. Look at that. Oh, man. She made a mistake. Ronda wants to make it happen quickly. Without, she gave There's up her the arm. arm. She gave it it's she all over. Oh Just my God. like that. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. That is way under a minute. Wow. That, Unbelievable. That's crazy. She got so aggressive. She left her arm out there. And you just can't do that with Ronda Rousey. Man. All right, it was her trainer, Edmund Tarverdi, who told me that last night. Man, you know, it's a beautiful sign of respect, but that's an unbelievably disappointing performance for Kat Zingano. She came out guns blazing like that. I mean, let's take a look at it again. We can watch it in real time and see what happened. So the fight starts. She comes out with a knee, grabs her, headlocks her, but lost the position. Ronda, beautiful use of that underhook. Now look at this here. Ronda traps the arm. Sits back and looks at, look at her right arm. Watch how she puts the pressure on that arm, turns her hips, and Kat's in a world of pain right here. Right away, taps. I mean, beautiful job of trapping that, capitalizing on that moment. 
for Ronda Rousey. Look how she's got that arm. That is a nasty position. Pressure on the shoulder, pressure on the elbow. Just beautiful submission skills for Ronda Rousey. Joe, let's watch it again because it is the quickest finish in UFC championship history. 14 seconds. Let's take it again in real time. She grabs her, throws her to the ground, but Ronda capitalized on this position. Look at this. Watch the arm. Watch how she traps it. She traps it with her right arm, stretches her out, and taps immediately. I mean, she was trapped, like wow. right from the, the moment she locked it up. Ninth career win by submission. Seventh in UFC strike force pride in WEC history. Man. 14 seconds, a UFC record. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy has called a stop to this contest at 14 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a straight arm lock and still the undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world. Rowdy Ronda Rousey!